Hey there everyone, Musclebound Geek, and today we're going to wrap up the 15 tips of the great abs. These last five will be a real few quick tips, some stuff you might know, some stuff you might not, but let's wrap this baby up. Number one, keep hydrated. Drink lots of water and eat healthy. If you want more information on this, I did a whole video about nutrition and foods that speed up your metabolism, and that's really all it is. You gotta eat right. Drink your water, keep that metabolism going, get healthy food in you, stuff that your body can really use. Starving yourself is not going to get you results, it's only going to get you sick. Number two, uh, if hitting the gym isn't for you, or you have health problems, or you haven't exercised, exercised in a long time, or you're not in great health at the moment, and the gym or treadmill or whatever you just can't do, try swimming it is one of the best exercises for anyone it works your whole body it works your muscles it works your cardio and the water is natural resistant and if you're not strong enough you stay in the shallow that buoyancy will help you but you're still getting a good workout so swimming it's great recommend it for everybody number three everybody has abs we all have abs we all have muscles it's just the problem is for most people getting that six-pack it's not it's not go to the gym and do like a thousand crunches. That's not gonna get it get it there. You want that six pack, first you gotta burn that fat, and then once that fat is gone, you can see it, then you build up your ab muscles, then you get them nice and big. That's how it works. Don't think if you go to the gym and do a million crunches or whatever, that that's what's gonna get your abs. If there's a fat layer over your abs, no matter how big and strong you get them, you're just not gonna see them. Number four, very important, make sure you stretch before and after, hell, even during your exercises. You don't want your muscles to cramp up. You want to loosen everything up. You want to get it ah, nice and stretched out. You don't want to have that lactic acid build up when you're going heavy. I made that mistake once. Oh, man, the worst cramps of my life. That really hurt. So really you stretch. You want to get the, uh, so there's a fascia. Really give you some information here. It's fascia. It's basically a sheath that covers your muscles, you know, protect them from, you know, getting torn or whatever. These can also restrict your muscle growth, um, especially in your calves, because, you know, Achilles tendon is there. Obviously, you want that thing nice and strong. So when you stretch that, besides making sure the muscles are nice and warmed up, you're also helping uh, more elasticity to the fascia, so it's more loose, so you can so your muscles can grow. And the last one basic health tip avoid drinking excessive amounts of alcohol alcohol slows your metabolism and now that you have the end of course you drink this alcohol your metabolism is, metabolism is already shot to shit what does everybody want when they're hammered uh, let's go to taco bell at one in the morning great now you're having high calorie high fat processed food it's gonna pack on the pounds quick since alcohol is liquid it's digested easy it gets absorbed in your body that much quicker so definitely stay away from it. Alright, that's it for today. I do have a few other projects in line, but college is coming up real soon, a few days away, so I'm going to be a little bit busy taking care of all that. And then when school starts, who knows when we'll be able to get these up, but I'll try to get a few more videos out before I go. So, <clears throat> until then, remember, stop sitting around dreaming, get up and start doing. Be sure to like me on Facebook, and I'll see you guys later. Ow!